This football garb is unique to the first World Cup in the Middle East. The Ghatra, the male headdress and the thobe, an ankle-length white robe worn primarily by Arab men in the Gulf, now feature team jerseys and country flags. It's surprisingly cool. That was the first thing that I thought when I put this on as I was going to you know, start sweating. It was hot. But it's, uh, it's keeping the breeze going, so it's nice. The more than century-old Souk Wakif has become a runway for football fashion. When I go to, back to um, San Diego, that's where I'm from, I'm going to wear this going um, for every Mexican uh, match that goes on there. You might start a trend. Exactly. This is the only place on the planet where you can buy a ratra or a thobe. You see there's a jersey here with a flag on the bottom. The ratra costs about $20, the thobes about 30 in one of the unexpected cultural exchanges taking place, country men are stopping to give fans a fashion primer, showing their favorite take on how to wear the ghatra. Each man has his preference. Thank you. Korea? Yes, Korea. Uh, Korea number one. Okay. Korea number one. <laughs> Doha number one. Doha number one. Qatar number one. Yeah. <laughs> We are really very happy and we are proud that this people is wearing this our traditional uh, dress. Even they is not wearing exactly like us we are wearing, but really it is, uh, we, are, we are so, so happy. Welcome to Qatar, welcome. The locals just stop, lean in, make the adjustment with a smile and continue on their way. It's a prime example of the Qatari's understated hospitality. Clearly, it's also a source of pride that the world is celebrating country attire and learning just how cool and comfortable it is, especially in the desert heat. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Doha.